Hi Cancer, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your September reading. I'll be using the Zodiac spread or the horoscope spread, which covers different areas of your life. Uh, we will go from the first house through the 12th. You don't need to know about astrology. I'll just give you a message in those areas of your life. Um, pretty general though. Keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. And if you are interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on for the month of September for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. When I was pre-shuffling, um, I kept getting such a strong masculine energy actually for you guys. There was uh, the Queen of Cups that was coming, but I was getting the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the King of Cups. Strong masculine energy um, in the reading. So let's see though what the universe wants you to know. From the first house to the 12th for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer for September? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. One more and then we will start. Sorry that I'm shuffling so much. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles financially free here with that. And the Knight of Cups. It looks like someone here, and the Eight of Cups, someone wants to go towards this person that seems non committal or very independent. There's still emotions there, though. We will see. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil. Hmm. The Five of Pentacles. There's the King of Cups. The Hangman. The Seven of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. There's a Magician. The Ten of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. Chariot. And we have the Three of Pentacles overall. Judgment. Okay. Judgment being the overall situation here. Maybe that some of you um, are having a second chance at something here that you have been waiting. It's like a sign type of energy. Someone that has been praying, wanting this renewal energy, even forgiveness. Um, but, but it's coming overall with this renewal energy for you guys. Ready to open up. And this may be coming also because you yourself, your ego, your attitude, your appearance, uh, even, you know, how you're going to take action. It's, you're looking with that eight of pentacles, it's such a Virgo energy, which um, we are in Virgo season. And the placements are very nice for cancer actually here because it's sextiling your cancer placement. It looks like you're working, you're improving yourself. You have this focus of, hey, I need to um, put work into myself in what I want to achieve, in what I want to accomplish. Maybe that's your image. Maybe there's when it comes to um, changing something about yourself. But it's this practical um, approach here. Of course, there's a perfectionism with the Eight of Pentacles, but it looks like that's what you want to focus on yourself and improving yourself and progressing. Now, there is an indulgent energy that is coming with the devil in the second house. Uh, since the second house belongs to Taurus, sometimes the shadow of this house, it can be that we overcome or we we want everything here. There's this luxurious energy. That's why I'm saying indulgent. So you might feel trapped here in um, when it comes to this improvement or progress that you want to overspend. Or when it comes here to your values, there's something here that you want and it feels forbidden. So be aware with the devil in the second house, house of money. Uh, values even when it comes to your self-esteem there's a little bit here of an indulgent I want everything and it, it's going to extreme with, with this energy uh, with the devil it may feel also that there's something about money here that you feel you want it fast and quick in, uh, with that energy this might be also why you feel in your day-to-day -day, uh, in your environment this energy of what if I'm going to be financially poor again it's, it may be coming with the second house this fear of I want this and I'm worried about this and I'm obsessing about this and it has this energy of 
feeling left out, abandoned type of thing. It may be also someone close to you as well. It may be that you are fearful of financially being destitute here. There's just this fear with the third house. It's such a house of communication and contracts. Uh, I don't think that will be the case. I feel like it's literally just your fear of being abandoned or a person that is close to you because when it comes to your home here, Cancer, to your fourth house, which has to do with your emotions, family, you very much are all about feelings or about having your family here or your roots. You, you feel like, um, I, I want to have a home with someone. The King of Cups is receptive, open to this energy. And that's what's going on now. This may be you. This may be also someone that you're connecting with. But um, I feel like if it is regarding a person, you have a choice to be making with the Two of Pentacles here. Uh, in the seventh house again is someone that you want an emotional bond with or you feel like someone that you can live with that they understand where you're coming from um, the life that you want to have the foundation that you want to put down so you're very much into your emotions there also just uh, with the hangman here it may be that someone that you are kind of waiting for um, looking at this in a different perspective, different way with a hangman romantically. I don't see you acting quickly in your romantic life. I have to tell you with the hangman and the two of pentacles, there is this energy of waiting, balancing a situation. Maybe again, because as I mentioned, you mostly are focusing on yourself and there is a fear here of overindulgence. But when it comes to your romantic life, I just see someone that is in, hanging in there and is trying to look at different perspective different view there's always with the hangman this energy a little bit of idealization is such a piscean energy and that's how you are this may be also uh, your person your romantic um, love interest here that they're still waiting when it comes to you now when it comes to work when it comes to your routine your health uh, even how you take care of yourself it looks like you are overcoming obstacles at work you might be like you know something i accept this challenge i'm going for it maybe because also when it comes to a career move or when it comes to who you want to kind of portray yourself being you know status wise or when it comes here um i'm my own boss my vocation with that knight of wands you feel like you want to charge in passionately so there's a certain willpower and a certain drive here that you want to go again remember i said that this might be affecting your money your possessions that you feel like i want this I have to act quickly, impulsively, and I have to overcome obstacles. So you might find yourself challenged in this situation, but it looks like you're ready to overcome those challenges. Because with that Knight of Wands here, it looks like you want to go fast, quick in, in that regard. When it comes to romantic partnership here, a one-on-one -on -one connection, marriage for some of you, uh, we have Capricorn energy, by the way. It looks like someone here has choices or is trying to keep these choices open. If this is your person, they're not deciding here. They're still trying to figure out what's the best situation. I Again, I don't see this person choosing. If this is you regarding a romantic partner, as I mentioned before, I, I'm getting a lot of hanging in that um Remember, guys, these are pretty general uh, in your um, love life. I'm not getting that someone is quick to, to say, hey, this is what I want. This is what I need to do. It's just the waiting game and uh, keeping, you know, these options open for some of you here. Now, the magician in the eighth house is actually very beautiful because this house belongs to Scorpio. And we're talking about endings, beginnings, transformation, even debt and shared resources. And the magician here is someone that says, hey, it's like someone is opening themselves to to this intense uh, connection there's a mental awareness here with someone there's a manifestation there's an attraction a seduce seduction here someone like is seducing here with the mind as well with that magician again as i mentioned these two major arcanas in such when it comes to love affair and when it comes here to soul to soul connection is someone that is aware of this connection they're waiting and they're manifesting it now, this, again, does not say that someone is going to go directly here and say, hey, right away, choose. But I feel like it's like this opening the door and, and manifesting something. It's, it's just someone is like concocting here some type of magic. Not literally, but you know what I mean when it comes to this soul-to-soul -soul connection. There may be, again, why you have uh, the judgment that something here is coming uh, to renewal energy. 
Now, the Ten of Swords is so interesting here how beautiful the Ten of Swords is in, in this um, card. Because I feel like, yes, it is the ending of something, but it's someone that is healing from the scars here. Whatever has been the timing of, it's just someone says, I'm ready to release this. So I feel like the Ten of Swords, it may be regarding certain faith, certain beliefs, or someone long distance here that someone says, I've had enough psychologically too even regarding some type of higher education and contracts or certain beliefs remember when it comes to your mind when it comes to your environment something keeps you fearful of okay i'm going to feel you know left out or i'm not going to make it uh I, I'm, I'm going to feel poor and left out so this ten of swords in the opposite house here it looks like someone says enough i'm tired of thinking about it i i, I don't want to obsessively think about this situation to feel exhausted i want to release this it's all about timing with the ten of swords so there's this ending but in a way it's like okay finally i know that that's over and done with that's the energy and again it has to be something about long distance higher education or even certain beliefs that has, has kept you trapped and feeling left out as i mentioned that is movement in your career um quick, swift, you might make a bold move regarding this career uh, situation here and you're ready to accept the challenge. Um, when it comes to certain uh, friendship, social media, even your your dreams here with a chariot, which is a cancer energy, you, you feel a certain drive to go after your dreams with a chariot, after your wish fulfillment. If there is someone distant from you, a, a friend, it looks like they're coming towards you, but you have this courageous approach when it comes to social media, when it comes to friendship, when it comes here, even to what you want to accomplish. You feel like, okay, this is what I want to do in the future and I better start with a chariot is like this courageous approach. And so there, there's going to be very important, maybe again in your love life or when it comes to your creativity, love affairs and dating, you might feel like, okay, I don't have much movement, but you're ready here to have social groups and friendship and be more sociable. Um, in that aspect with the chariot what you need to know behind the scenes here is that there is a friendship that is someone here that is planning and wants to work something out with you remember the two of pentacles is when it comes to this one-on-one -on -one connection someone that is keeping these options open but when it comes to your 12th house hidden aspect no enemies um, in the 12th house here and no like kind of addictions it's just it's Mars in Capricorn by the way just someone that feels like I have this attraction I have this desire I'm trying to make things work so you might have a certain friendship here and it's so interesting that your ego here and your kind of your subconscious are both earth element whatever you need to work and progress behind the scenes you know that there's still more planning you're building something also this may be someone that wants a partnership with you wants to come forward to have some type of alliance so be aware of alliances and partnership and second chances here that are very important when it comes to friendship or when it comes to the one-on-one -on -one connection you might uh, feel that like some whoever this back and forth energy or these two options you might feel like they're they work perfectly for you in this regard so i really hope that resonates with you guys we're gonna go um and give you with each sign one message individually here from aries uh, to pisces so cancer if you are dealing with aries they do want to put work in this connection um they they want to make the effort towards you they're willing to kind of you know look at it as long term nothing fast here they may be also working on themselves right now but there's definitely an opportunity for long term between the two of you if you're dealing with taurus they have this obsession with you they want you there's chemistry there's desire there's indulgence it is the devil though so there's always this kind of unhealthiness to overindulgence they may be that they're afraid to overindulge or to open up but definitely there's that strong lust and um, obsession there with you and Taurus if you are dealing with a Gemini they feel very much here abandoned they may be afraid of rejection or being left out by you if you're dealing with another cancer you guys better like get together the king of cups is in love the king of cups matches your energy this is the type of I, I love you type of energy I'm open to this if you are dealing with a Leo, they're hanging in there. 
they're not going to do anything with the hangman, but they kind of looking at this situation as a forever. Hangman is my self-sacrificing energy, is the person that says, no matter what in this lifetime, I'm always going to hang in here and wait for you. Yes, that's not what maybe you like to hear, but Leo uh, is not making a move. They do I have this idealization though. If you're dealing with a Virgo, there's a lot of blockages that needs to be surpassed. They may feel like they uh, have this type of energy here of, how do I say with the seven of wands? I have to overcome all these boundaries. Um, I feel like you have blocked me. I feel like um, there's space and, and barriers when it comes to reaching. So they're trying here to overcome all these blockages when it comes to you and challenges. They're not going to move uh, with the seven of wands. I don't see it as moving. I see it as defensive energy. If you are dealing with a Libra, there's a lot of back and forth with them, with the two of pentacles. They may be waiting here, trying to figure out what the next move is. There's not much action there as well. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you guys are manifesting or they're manifesting you here. There's an awareness. There's a new beginning. It's just that manifestation stage right now from Scorpio. They might be being a Scorpio, they might be seducing you here as well and trying to, you know, to kind of <laughs> put a spell on you. Uh, again, not, not literally here, but you get um, what I'm saying with a magician. That's what I feel like it is. I put a spell on you. Um, with a Ten of Swords uh, with Sagittarius, Sagittarius feel like you guys are ending something. They feel like... Um, this, the timing is not right for you. There may be a certain betrayal. They're trying to release all these exhaustive thoughts when it comes to you, but they look at it as a painful ending. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, there's chemistry, there's action. They want to come towards you. They feel very much this desire, this passion when it comes to you, and they want to take action towards it. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they very much wants to. They want to charge. They want to win you over. They they want to close the distance when it comes um, to the two of you. And if you are dealing with the Pisces, there's a friendship here. There's a partnership, and they're trying to make it work when it comes to your energy. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye bye.